Hello everyone. Uh, today's lesson is about uh, analytical function. We will talk about uh, one analytical function, lead. Now, lead is a function which actually what it does. Uh, it uh, if you are for fetching some values from your table, some records, say you are fetching say, marks of a student, you are fetching uh, salary of an employee. And now you want to find out uh, when uh, finding salaries, you are supposed finding in descending order. So you want to find out uh, if a salary of a, one employee is uh, something, and what is the next highest salary? What is the next highest value to that? That is actually what lead function does. So we will today show you with some sample, some SQL statement that how lead function works. And uh, for this, uh, we are using actually two table. We are using employee master. We are using employee salary. From employee master, we will take uh, two field. One is employee code and employee, another is employee name. And from employee salary, we will take pay month year and gross pay. So what our table will show, it will show the gross pay of a certain employee and right to the next, uh, there will be another column which will show the next uh, highest gross pay right after that, second next. So uh, let's uh, begin. So I will just write the SQL code uh, where I will join these two tables and then uh, display the gross pay and then after that I will add the lead function. So we are adding select say a dot in code a dot in name in gross pay b dot gross pay say and then lead Over. Uh, let's uh, tell you one thing. Uh, using the lead function, we will actually break it in a smaller part. We will not make it complex. So what we will do, we will find out the next, second next, second highest salary uh, in the group, uh, grouping it in month wise. So pay month here is uh, the, this pay month here here have value. I am not showing you from the table. I'll just show you here. Say so pay month here have two zero one two, then uh, zero seven two zero one one two. So what we do? It will find out a range of values which consist of which will be in the month zero six two zero one two. Uh, it will give the cross pay and second highest cross pay in zero seven. It will make a partition. It will make partition in month wise. So it will not do it on on the all on the total table. It will partition the table month wise and execute this function on the respective partition of month. So. We are using uh, partition by pay month here, order by gross pay DSC. So we will, because we are uh, to, to, we are uh, uh, fetching the second highest, so we will. The, get the first has to cross pay second and then the second has cross pay so we can find out the second next second has to cross pay so i'm just ordering the cross pay in descending order so i'm just giving it a name second next uh, i have missed one thing i'm very extremely sorry for that lead function you have to mention the field oh, here it is cross pay so better make it b dot cross pay here also b dot pay month here and b dot cross pay second next so these are the fields display field from employee master a 
inner join employee salary B on B dot M pi D equal to A dot M pi D. So this is the SQL query. So let's execute this and see. Okay, I I have some problem with my keyboard. The N always not works fine. So I think yes. Just look into this table. This how interesting is this? This is see. This is the first gross pay, one lakh seventy thousand seven hundred forty. Second lakh sixty five thousand thirty. Then the very next second one is six five zero three zero and five fifty thousand eight. Then fifty thousand eight. See, you can already are finding the next two highest value here, and on the corresponding previous row you are getting the next highest value. So uh, I'll just make it a little simpler. I have missed one column here, so I'll put the column pay month here here, so you can understand. B dot pay month here. It should be displayed, and we can put a order by on pay month here here. Order by B dot pay month here. DSC. So you can also put, have put the order by on the here, but I'm not putting it here. So see. Now you will get uh, month wise. This this is two 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 zero one one. Let's check out from another month. As you can see, twelve. 2010 because it is a, in a string format so if you want to make it a, a proper order by we have to convert it to a, to a date so i'm not going into that complex we can make it we can do it here by converting it to to date function to date this is since it is in in y y y y in in r r r so we will just give it in in r r r Yeah. So you can see the, you can see here. Okay, just uh, we will just to put a header all. There are also all, all the many junk records, so I just make a uh, give in a filter. Now you see here it is five five eight three five five seven five 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 seven five 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 six three five five six three. So this function is a very very uh, useful function. It is a very useful analytical function which you, by which you can find out uh, next value and. Uh, you can also optionally it is find that second highest so you can also add uh, put a comma and add, you can get out the third highest you get the fourth highest suppose i i will get the second highest here so default is it is comma 1 so if you can put comma 2 comma 3 see It is five five six three. You just go to the third record. See five five six three. So five five six three is here, the third highest. Okay. So if you put comma three, see five five two one, the fourth highest. So this is how we can find out uh, nth highest record using a loop function from the second highest to all. Uh, to end highest, whatever you require. 
so you don't need to write any complex query you need to write anything but just use the lead function and get the second next highest record next highest value of a certain record so this is all about lead analytical function thank you very much if you like the video subscribe to my channel thank you